Hi, Dr. Goodes. Hey, Tyler. Welcome to the pre-class video on batteries. Hey. Batteries are pretty important for us, and so we're going to learn a little bit about how they work. And these are diagrams of two kind of old-style batteries. Here's uh, an alkaline battery, the kind that goes in, in flashlights and what have you. Right. And then this is a car battery. battery. Yeah, exactly. A lead car battery. Right, and you'll see some, some familiar terms here. We have labeled here zinc anode. Right, and I have an anode over here. Yep. And what's that anode made of? Uh, my anode is made with spongy lead. Spongy lead. So that's lead solid, but it's kind of porous okay. to give it more surface area. Um, what else do I have over here? I have a graphite rod that's labeled as a cathode. My cathode is a lead. Okay. Do you think the graphite reacts in this battery? What I'm going to guess no. Yeah. Graphite, remember we learned that graphite electrodes are inert. And so this graphite is going to deliver electrons or pull away electrons, but it's not going to actually react. Mm -hmm. um, what else do we have in there? I have an electrolyte. Electrolyte? Right. What do you suppose that's for? It's sort of like a salt bridge. Yeah. Yeah. And because um, charges are changing as chemical reactions happen in these batteries, and so you need an ion compound to transfer charge around. Right? And what's different is that the anode and cathode aren't separated into separate cells, right. but they are physically separated and connected by this electrolyte. Mm. What do you think the electrolyte is over here? Um, let's see. I see some potassium hydroxide yeah. paste. KOH paste. So this one doesn't have a real liquid or a solution. It has this paste. And really what that is is a very, very concentrated potassium hydroxide. Uh, it actually kind of is a solution. It's so thick and viscous that maybe it's not. I don't know. But anyway, it is an ion compound that's going to allow charges to transfer. Right? And that's really why uh, you don't really want to eat alkaline batteries. And that's why it's called alkaline, because this potassium hydroxide paste is really caustic. Right. Right? You may have, have had some batteries leak sometimes if they get really old. And it, it just makes a mess of, of what are electronics because that's really caustic stuff. Oh, yeah. right? And so in class we're going to learn about why these are put together in this fashion and why we use KOH here, why we use H2SO4 there. Because what do we want? We want a battery that has a good voltage. right? That's going to be controlled by the anode-cathode pair. We want something that the voltage doesn't change as the chemical reaction goes. Well, that's getting around the Nernst equation, right? How do we do that? And we want something that uh, has a lot of current, right? And that's why the electrodes here are spongy. High surface area means that there's a lot of sites for the reaction to happen. Right? It can happen really fast, okay? So um, we're going to be learning about these in class, trying to understand both how they're put together and why they're put together like they are, and uh, we'll see if we understand a little bit more about batteries when we're done. All right.